What's up everyone? How are you doing today? Good here. Thanks for asking. I have another movie review to do today. And the movie is titled No Retreat, No Surrender. And it came out in 1986. The 80's rule. Suckas. Yes, I have my trusty handy dandy notes because I am not a professional I don't try to remember all these things I write them down and I try to read them off to you as decently as possible so let's get this little review underway again the movie is no retreat no surrender it stars Kurt McKinney as Jason Stilwell Jean-Claude Van Damme as Ivan J.W. Fails as R.J. Madison and there's a few other actors and actresses off in there as usual but these are the main ones that has stuck out on the uh, the movie <clears throat> so the story goes and I'm kinda all over on the story because I wasn't gonna say too much but then I ended up saying maybe a little bit more so we might we might have some stuff mixed off in there so the story goes Jason moves to Seattle with his family after his dad is attacked and bullied out of their hometown Jason's dad himself was a karate instructor and yeah they forced him out of town and he wussed out let's just face it if you watch the movie that's the first thing you're gonna notice the worst dad probably in history seriously <clears throat> now Jason is bullied himself and has to fight not only to save himself but also save Seattle from a crime syndicate god dang syndicates <laughs> Jason's dad was an owner of a dojo back home I already mentioned that Jason himself studies martial arts. He turns to the spirit of Bruce Lee to help him train and teach him to be stronger since his dad no longer teaches. Sensei Lee. That's the basic story right there. My thoughts are as such. My first thought is not enough Jean-Claude Van Damme. He's only really utilized in the movie a couple of times. I like Jean-Claude Van Damme, but this isn't really his movie, I don't guess. Or it don't appear to be. So, second thought is, the main guy who plays Bruce Lee, like his spirit, not good. I mean, they could have picked like one of a billion other Asians to play this guy, and they did not really a bad choice does not even resemble not the best choice this movie is a mixture of the last dragon show no did you see it spit what the karate kid and rocky but not as good as any of those three by a long shot not that that is horrible, but they are not in the same. They're not in the same league. There, uh, there are several fight scenes. They aren't bad. I've seen way better. Uh, the last fight, we finally see uh, the expected revenge fight, of course, with uh, Jason and Ivan. Uh, because Ivan is actually the one, Ivan is played by Van Damme, Ivan is actually the one that went and kind of took care of his dad in the situation, if you know, like that. I don't want to give too much away, but you'll see. Uh, yeah. We didn't get to see enough of Van Damme. Uh, without giving anything away, at the end fight, yes, it's 
Van Damme time. Oh, I like a miss some Van Damme. That's all I want to say. Any more and I could very well potentially ruin this for you. Yes, I've seen better, but I've seen worse. And if you like those movies I mentioned earlier, Rocky, Karate Kid, and The Last Dragon, if you like those, you will probably like this one just fine. It just don't stack up to those types of movies. So, uh, is this movie a knockout? It's not bad. It's definitely 80s. Uh, it's definitely low budget. Um, it didn't do like huge numbers, I don't believe. Um, but I will give No Retreat, No Surrender a solid three out of five that's what I'm gonna give it so thank you for watching my videos I hope that you subscribe like share comment take part if you choose to I do not make any money off of these videos I do it for fun and I hope that you enjoy so everyone you have a Van Damme good weekend see you later